so let's start off with the next book which is junior preliminary right now we'll start with the first question now that is in page number two so this is revision we are starting off with revision now here what you have to do is to just write what this picture is so you can follow this sentence structure if you want you can write it is a and go on so this is how i have taught you to write it anyway but you can use this as well right so let's start what's this so you can write it apostrophe s a fat then the next one what's this if you want you can write like this it is a ball so all these words are in your word book and if you did the introductory exam you were supposed to study these spellings. The introductory exam is going to spellings the spellings. I am going to tell you about the spelling list. I am going to tell you about the spellings. So you can do this. It goes on to the next page and then this page. Here you are supposed to write like this. This is a cap. So what's this? You can write this is a and that's a dish, is it? D I S H dish. Full stop. What's this? This is a dog. Full stop. And it goes on to page five. So if you see in page five. They have told you to change the sentence structure. May sentence ka liye na vidya venas karan ke la tiyenne. That's a. So here you can write that is a instead of that's a. So this apostrophe s is for ease. For example, that is and you write the word that t h a t that. And instead of this I, you can put the apostrophe and then this S. That's for that is. So we'll write, what's that? That is a picture. And you can go on writing that until, yes, until page so in page 7 they have asked these questions about your personal details what's your name so this depends on uh, the introductory syllabus so what's your name my name is or I am is and you can write your full name so you can do that and at the end you can draw a picture of yourself and color it let's go to the next section here you have to draw the following pictures and color so this i think you remember how we did it so first you have to draw the picture and then color it color inside properly don't leave any uh, any white spots inside now i think you know how to do that because we have done it in the last exam and I've taught you how to do it. So draw big, big clear pictures here and color them. So that is until page 9. And now we'll go on to page 10. Which is about this grades, the, the grades, uh, what we have to do in this grade. Okay, so the main thing here is that we have to learn the n words now these are the words given an apple an aeroplane an egg an elephant an eraser an orange an owl an ice cream and an umbrella 
Now these are the words in your words list, right? These words are in the word book. You will have to study these spellings. Other than the 51 words last year, which you did, you have to study these nine words for your exam. So it's better if you can study it and do it. Or as for now, you can just look from here and write. But here, you have to be careful to use the word an. Now, where do we use an? We use an in front of words that start with vowel letters. So, what are the vowel letters? A, E, I, O, U. So, all these words start with vowel letters, is it? A apple, actually, vowel sounds. Apple, aeroplane, egg. Elephant, they are all vowel sounds. So we say an. So here you have to write the sentence as it is an and go on. So for example, what's this? It or you can write its if you want to. It's, you can write its. That will be better because that's what we have taught you. It's an Elephant. Now, now y'all know, y'all are old enough to realize that you cannot write capital letters in the middle of a sentence, isn't it? capital capital letters elephant capital Right, you all know now you all are big, right? So, because of that, we expect you maybe you have to learn by me when you can me words nearly Latin and method up sentences. The Malian in the method up it a capital of Ruda and Baham method. So, you have to be careful when you are writing. What's this? It's an egg. So, don't write capital E here because capital E was here, right? So, be careful. Then what's this? It's an apple. So you can go on doing that until the next page. See, there's, it's an umbrella, it's an ice cream, it's an eraser, it's an owl and it's an orange. So these are the nine words that we have for the exam. And here I have given you all an extra uh, exercise to do right other and words you know so you can write other words that you know uh, which start with uh, a for ex uh, with uh, a e i o u for example an mm, angel something like that right so other words that you know and x then Words like that, okay, which, which start with A, E, I, O, U. Right, now we'll go on to the next, next uh, section. Here you have to write, yes, it is. So again, what we are doing here is trying to develop our muscle memory, right? We are trying to develop our muscle memory. Now, what's muscle memory? That is, as soon as you see this, you should be able to write yes or no. But it's just not yes or no. Uh, you should know to write it properly. Right? So, as soon as you see this, you write yes, it is. So, even when you see this in the exam, you write yes, it is. Not yes or no or things like that. You have to, you don't have to think so much to write. So, if you do this, because... This is going on and on. All these exercises are going on and on. If you can see, there are a lot to write. So, if you write all of this, it is expected that you could do this in the exam without any problem. Right? So, anyway, we'll see. Is it a watch? Is this a watch? Yes. So, see, this is how you write Y on top. Yes, it is. Now, a lot of children write Y like this. This is wrong because Y should be capital as it is the first letter in the sentence. Then, is it a vase? <coughs> yes, it 
is is it a dish yes it is and go on writing that then we come to page 14 right now answer this is it a cap no so here you can't just write no you have to write no it isn't now how does this isn't come so we normally okay let's write no it is not that's the complete sentence so we write no it is i s and we write the n near s and we write the apostrophe instead of o and we write t so that's how no it isn't is structured so see is it a watch is it a watch no it's a clock no it isn't now is it a vase no it isn't is it a dish no it isn't okay so you can write this any way you like but it should be according to proper grammar structures now instead of no it isn't you can write no it is a clock even that's correct but this is what's given in the syllabus so you can write this because this is easy rather than writing no it is a clock or things like that that's long isn't it and you have to think more you should know the spelling of clock okay so but here you this is enough for this grade okay just writing no it isn't is enough for this grade but purely writing no is not acceptable you have to write no it isn't right no kela vitra kliyanna bad no it isn't kela ma liyanna one no it is a clock wage wa liyanna puluwam හැබැයි ඉතින් එතකොට clock කියන එක spellings දැනගන්න ඕනේ නේ ඉතින් එතකොට මේක ඊට වැඩිය lazy right so we'll go on to the next one yes so till this is page 15 until page 15 you have to do that then we'll go on to the next page where you have to write yes it is or no it isn't according to the question that they have asked so yes it is for the ones that are correct no it isn't for the ones that are not so is it a bat it's a box is it so you write no it isn't is it a ball yes it is is it a bell yes it is is it a box no it isn't so you can go on writing that until you are very sure about the spellings until you are very sure about you know answering these questions you can do these exercises see we have 33 okay we have about 50 questions there just to answer yes it is and no it isn't so after doing all of this you are a master of it so you can you know do it without any problem in the exam right now we'll go on to the next section which is my now my and your are, are words that are there in your syllabus but here we just ask is this my box for you to understand what this uh, the, the concept of my and your and that's it so you'd have just answer yes it is or no it isn't so it's easy now my my kiyanne mage then mage kiyana therumen right now for example this pencil meka dan me me pencil mage ne neda etu regular hanama oh then egula habai den hitanne examiner pitting in examiner hanama is this my pencil ke then mama ogula ngin ahannan ko is this my pencil meka mage da oh me pencil mage ne so you say yes it is right then me pota me pota mage da oh me pota teacher ge me ka mage 
Oh yes, it is. Right? Ah, is this my bed? Yes, it is. Hmm. So you have to just write yes, it is. As uh, until page twelve. Sorry, until question twelve. Sorry, this is okay. The page number has not been added there. That is eighteen. 19, 20, 21 until page 21. You have to write uh, yes, it is until question 12. Then we'll go on to next. The next one is this my box? No, it isn't. So just write no, it isn't. Now, again, these exercises are not for for knowledge or anything it is to develop muscle memory meka hondata meka liyala liyala practice karanna thamai teacher meva deela tiyenne i exam eke wada patan gattama ona no it isn't ehema liyanna bari wenna ba right hariyata liya wenna one eka thamai teacher me serama liyanna kiyala tiyenne right think hariyata ulwata aragena eka liyan right ah now here you have to just write Use this sentence structure and write. This is my box. Okay, diha balala. My kela dala make a For example, now what's this? Pencil. Is it? So you write this is my pencil. Then what's that? Doll. This is my doll. On normal liagana liagana and the tien. Right. So we'll go on to the next one. Yes. Uh, here, if this fourteenth one is not clear, that's a glass. Okay. So you write this. <coughs> this is my glass. And full stop. Okay. Sorry. Now in your next one, uh, next question, they have given the question, this is your bedroom. Write sentences using the word my. For example, this is my bed. And they have given some words here. Just add my and write it. You don't have to think a lot. Just add my and write it. This is my mother okay so we normally don't say this is my mother we normally say she is my mother but just for this grade just to get the hang of this this sentence structure we i've just given these words now don't write capital m here a lot of children just write it this is my mother eto metana capital akurak liyanne pa right now father this is my father Right, full stop. Metana capital timunata metana lianepa. Right? Now I've given these words to see whether y'all will do that mistake. So don't get caught to that. Okay, right. So there you'll have to write 10 sentences. So there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the 10th one you have to think and write. Okay, you just. There are other things here which are not there in this words box, word box. You can get one of those and write. Okay, now I can see the word mirror not given here, but there is a mirror here. So you can write this is a mirror there. Or any other word that you know. Now in the next page, that's page 24. Now draw a picture of your classroom and write 10 sentences about it using the word your. This is your table. Now they have given the words. If you can see here, they have given the words here. You can draw them. Uh, for example, you draw a desk like that. Okay, I'm not good at drawing. And you can draw a chair like that. 
then you can draw like uh, an eraser a pen so they have given these words you can draw them then a ruler so you can draw them according to uh, how you know it and you can draw a better picture than this <laughs> right last center then you write you have to write it like this this is your table so you go the first one is this desk this is your desk number two this is your chair first up number three this is your eraser and go on writing until 10 they have given space to write 10 sentences so you write 10 sentences and you go on to the next one now draw a picture of your classroom and write 10 sentences about it using the word my now here also you are told to draw your classroom isn't it but you have to use the word your. But here, you have to do the same. Draw your classroom, but use my. This is my table. This is my desk. This is my chair. So, for example, this is my desk. And I can use it. I can it. I can use it. I can my. Right? I can use it. This is my chair. And go on writing. Now here, your is obagay. Again, you have to just write yes, it is here. No, it isn't here. And once again, I'll tell you these exercises are there for you to build up muscle memory, right? Me. Uh, make a decala, make a yes, the no, the key, and make a name, make an in teacher balapur to any ogulon to hurry to make a liela for win. I think the meva and you are in Karana Antima Venaka, right? And then here you have to write again, this is your, your bell, okay, full stop. This is your. Bottle and that one, this is your clock, and go on until 50. This is your calendar, and they've again given pictures. These are the things in my kitchen, make sentences using your. Now, one thing that you have to remember is this my and your is. Now, the examiner, you have to think that the examiner is asking the question. Right? Then, hammer me, hammer me, kaka dima, ogulo hita ga noni, examiner question neka hanama kiela. Equate teacher question neka hanama kiela. Right? Ogulo examiner kati gama, inwan examiner neither. Ya me question neka hanama kiela hita ga na tamai ogulo uttara den noni. Right? Then examine the kitchen. These are the things in my kitchen. On me, yaagi kitchen ne gate yena devar. Ogulonge ne me, right? Ita ko tapi koma dekhi ani. Me, o yaagi kappe ke kila ne apni kia no na. This is your cup, right? So they have given the words here. You can look at that and write. Now please don't forget to write simple letters. Okay, right? So we will go on writing. This is your cup so you go on writing until the end right that is uh, okay after that you're going to do the same draw a house make sentences using your so you draw a house so we don't know what's there in the examiner's house but we can assume that she has these these things or he has these these things in his or her house so we can just draw them okay and we can write okay table cupboard fan light 
and all of this. And then you write this is your chair. This is your table. And just go on writing that. Please put your full stops. Okay. Right, we'll go on to the next one. Right, now here, fill in the blanks with my and your. Now, this question is there for your exam where you have to put my for things that are near you and your for things that are away from you or far away from you. So, my, your, my, your. My daan elanga tiyane vata yo mukudu my kiyane ne man gawa tiyana deyak ganne mama my kiyala kiyane mage kiyala kiyane ne da yo kiyanne ata wena ekkene gawa tiyana ekakata so we say this is my bag and that is your bag mukudu api giya sare ekena gatta this kiyanne api langa tiyane ewa that kiyanne ata tiyane ewa Right, so this is my bag, Langatianeka. That is your bag. Now, what is this? This is my book, and that is your book. And this is there for your exam. That is why we are doing this, right? This is okay. What's that? Doll. This is my doll, and that is your doll. This is my pencil and that is your pencil. So you can write until the end. Right, the next one. Select 20 words from the picture and write them on the given space. So here, you have to write it here. Whatever the word that you are writing should be in the picture and should be in this uh, in this words list, right? So we'll see chair, boy, watch, jeep, and so they they are there. Just check whether the chair is there. So if the chair is not there, cut it. Now is there a boy here? Yes, there's the boy, boy. So you write it and cut it. Then watch, 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 watch. We can't see a watch. So you just cut it. Right. Jeep. Yes, there is a jeep. You ride it and cut it. Then spoon. <coughs> I can't see a spoon, so I'm not going to ride that. Then I just cut it. Flower. There's a flower there. So you write flower and cut it. Okay, so you have to just do that. Uh, you have to write 20 words like that from the given list, which are also in the picture. Right? Right, you have to do the same here. Metana hemma karanone. Me pintura samara keva etchera clear na hai. Right, clear na clear eva tika bala lian. Right, so box here's box. Just check whether there's a box. I can't see a box, so I just cut it. Car, no. Bird, yes, there's a silovito there. Right, okay, bird. Bird, and you can go on writing. You can put commas and write. Okay. Now this this part uh, is not in your syllabus. Extra work to improve your vocabulary and grammar. Okay, so this is not in the syllabus, but we are doing this just for your knowledge. Now some of you might be going for grammar classes. Right? You can use that knowledge to do this, right? Or if you are not going for grammar classes, you can use this as a guide. Now, in the first, <coughs> sorry, in the first page or in this lesson, we are doing about nouns. 
nouns or nama pada in singhala right so they have given nouns are words for persons like girl boy teacher dancer doctor mother father right names names nouns are names nouns are words for things box pen pencil bat jeep ball nouns are names for places garden school market living room seaside farm nouns are names for animals cat dog and butterfly bird cow camel nouns are names for other living things such as tree flower grass bushes and fruit so you see nouns are just not names right they are not just names they have they have a lot of things nouns have a lot of things uh, under its wing okay see there are names given to persons things places animals and other living things so in your first exercise they are given 20 nouns you have to categorize them according to the given headings you see persons things places animals are the living things persons persons can name how the persons can name pudgala ne can name ne ape minisu right things ek ek badu objects right place places thang animals sattu other living things e kiyanne husma ganna habai avidinna karanna bae egula ek tane inne habai husma gannawa e kiyanne Uh, plants like flowers grass bushes ne i mean gas kolam wage dewal ne e gulo e gulon ge tiyenawa ne ne e gulo jeevi kattiya ba e gulon ta katha karanna hema ba etata e gulon thamai me other living things kiyala kiyanne ita me endana karanna tiyenne isla ganna me wachanaya ganna palaweni wachanaya ganna meke monata daayat wenne kiyala liyanna tiyenne picture picture is a thing is it picture <coughs> sorry cut that house house is a place lion is an animal uncle is a person jug is a thing kitchen is a place flower are the living things sister person kettle thing bathroom places box sorry things bed thing brother brother person bushes ah those are the living things ne bushes bedroom places baby persons myself a person you are a person <laughs> right fruit other living things <clears throat> post office place cow animal tree are the living things zebra animal tiger animal fish yes fish is actually um <laughs> you can say that it's an animal right grass okay so that is that Now here, what you have to do is here are thirty words. Find the nouns and write them. Okay. Now here you have to be careful. You have to find the names of persons, things, places, animals, and other living things. <coughs> Sorry. Table. Yes. Like. Is that a noun? No. It's an adjective. So adjectives are words that describe a noun, right? So we just sorry, like is a is not an adjective. It's a verb, right? Like you like somebody is like uh, it's a verb, right? Sorry. So you don't write that. P 
pen yes mirror good okay that is an adjective where you describe a noun sorry so you don't write it sorry you don't write it okay good you just cut it bad again an adjective don't write it lady new an adjective don't write it kettle yes kitchen yes it's a place dance no it's a verb verb kiyanne kriya padayak etoda like ver dance over seyama kriya padaya inda evali yanne pa so go on writing uh, all the nouns that you know ona adjectives li anna tepa verbs li anna tepa right then then there's another little lesson here common nouns and proper nouns so what's a common noun a common noun is a noun that names any person place or thing for example boy school flower vegetable right so those are common nouns right but a proper noun right a proper noun is a noun that names the particular person place or thing now the common noun boy we can take the common noun as boy and the proper nouns can be jack john right so common noun kiyana me hamota me me jack john ona pirimi lamekta kiyana me me common noun right normal name right but then jack john those are called proper nouns right then flower is the common noun proper noun of proper nouns for flowers are huh? buttercup rose and any flower that you know now the common noun school has proper nouns such as holy cross college lyceum international college ratnavali college pandaravath i don't know whatever the school that you are going to or whatever the schools that are there around the town then vegetables that's the common noun the proper nouns are leeks carrot beetroot and any anything right so this is these are common nouns and proper nouns So here they have told you to write write proper nouns for these common nouns. So insects, can you tell me some insects? Okay, you can like write ant, spider, right? It's better if you can write about five fruits: mango, banana, <clears throat> pineapple. Right. So you can write about five words each here. Right, five words each. You have to write, okay? Girls' names you can write uh, Mala, Kamala, okay, and your name, right? Men, yes, you can write your father's name and all the names of men you know. Women like that teacher, so the teachers' names that you know, Miss, and you can write or Madam or whatever, and write the teacher's name, right? For example, Miss, Miss. Um, no, no, right. So you have to write a proper name of a teacher, <laughs> right? As the proper nouns, right? So you can do these and show me when you come back to the class, right? And that's all. The last page is to do with the speaking exam. We'll keep that for the moment. If you can, you can answer these questions as well. But let's keep it for the moment, and we'll only do the writing work. So that's all. Thank you. And I hope to see you all when the classes start with all these all this work done. Thank you.